Hello and welcome to this online panel where we discuss women leading transformation in telecoms as part of Telecom TV's Perspective series where we look at the culture within the industry. My name is Charlotte Kahn and I will be your host. Joining me today are a formidable bunch of women who are driving forces in their field. So it's with great pleasure that I would like to welcome Beth Cohen, DMTS, NFV SDN Network Product Strategy at Verizon. Dr. Chilin E, Chief Scientist, Wireless Technologies at China Mobile. Eugenia Jordan, Vice President of Marketing at Parallel Wireless. And Susan James, Senior Director, Telecommunication Strategy at Red Hat. Now, Beth, I'd like to start with you. You have been a pioneer and a leader in the telecoms industry, starting with your work at BBN, the real inventors of the internet. Um, and you have been very active in the OpenStack community. Uh, you have co-written the OpenStack Architecture Design Guide, and uh, you have collaborated with other infrastructure architects in the OpenStack Foundation's Edge Computing Workgroup in order to develop the requirements for building tools to support Edge. And Beth, most recently, you have been working on the LFN's Anuket project, which is creating reference infrastructure architectures for the support of virtualized networking workloads. So, Beth, how does it feel to be co-creating the future of our industry? And also, what excites you the most about these projects? Wow, it sounds so impressive when, <laughs> when you read it back. It is. Uh, what I'll say is uh, my career has, um, and not but not on purpose, but it seems like I've always ended up being on the leading and, and I should say bleeding edge of technology. Um, I actually started work as a architect, as in like a building architect, and brought com had computer aided design into that industry, and then moved on and and um, I ended up working for both Brennick and Newman or BBN. Um, uh, running the advanced networking lab. So it was actually, you know, just I keep looking back and I say, wow, it le seems like old hat when, you know, when I'm working on this stuff. But then I look back and I say, wow, I've been, I was doing that 10 years ago. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's super cool. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Well, very cool indeed. Thank you. Now, Eugenia, let's, uh, let's move on to you. You entered the telecom industry 21 years ago, holding two degrees, and you took a position as a receptionist because that's um, all that was available to you. So from there, you rose to the sea level because you worked hard, you played fair, you invested in learning, and you relied on courage. Your words, I imagine. Now, do you feel that you did more than your peers maybe might have done in order to ride through the ranks to get to that executive level? That is such a great question. So because I'm Eastern European, hard work is in my blood. So being a hard worker never changes. What I think has changed throughout my career is the type of hard work. Early on, when I just moved to the States, I had to learn the American culture, the technology, because I'm not an engineer. I have a computer undergrad. As my career progressed, and the opportunities, just like Beth was saying, were given to me. I had to learn and work hard in different areas, how to be an influential leader, communication styles. And now at Parallel Wireless as a C-level executive, as a part of the executive team, I still work hard to ensure the company grows. We make the right strategic decisions. And as a marketing leader, my hard work is now around my team, make sure that they find success, they realize their full potential. So hard work is always there, it just changes. Now, Susan, you have a similar story, haven't you? I mean, you started as a receptionist too. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> so uh, yes, I, I started as a receptionist um, in Brisbane, Australia, actually. Absolutely, it takes a lot of hard work and I think but one of the other things is I think it also need, you need to be brave uh, and, you know, take the opportunities. And, you know, even if you're not 100 percent confident that, you know, this is you're 100 percent ready for it, that you just need to grab those opportunities when they come, because I don't think that they come as often. Um, I would say the other thing is that, you know, you, you need to be lucky. You do need to work hard um, and you absolutely need to invest in your knowledge, uh, and that will be different at different points in time, but um, that sort of continuous learning, I think is really important. 
Yeah, but it sounds that uh, you are all very much driven by, by passion. Talking of which, um, Dr. E, you have a great passion for green and environmentally sustainable technologies. You developed the Green Communications Research Center at China Mobile, and you're also doing extensive work on high energy efficiency system architectures, uh, technologies and devices. You're also working on advanced R&D for 5G, green energy, power and carbon reduction. So how are you leveraging your platform as an industry leader to to influence your peers to make this a priority within their own companies? And, uh, and is it challenging as a female leader to, to make your voice heard and drive that change? Thank you for the question. Uh, definitely, I think uh, um, green uh, is, is a, a global consensus uh, as it's uh, uh, very important for the fundamental issue of sustainability of our society. And uh, the way that we have to think about the green technology, I think it needs to be at multiple layers and levels. So the, our work actually span uh, across uh, from material to device, to equipment, to base stations, to networks, and eventually to cross networks. And uh, uh, we managed to uh, bring the fruit of our labors uh, into uh, the core design uh, concept of the 5G standards but we have continuously improved its energy efficiency with uh, uh, improvement, not only in the enhancement in the standard design, but also in the hardware technology and software technology. And in terms of, um, I think, uh, voice being heard and the impacting and influencing peers in our ecosystem, I think I have been uh, uh, blessed uh, in terms of uh, the, the opportunities uh, across. For example, uh, in IEEE, uh, I was uh, the founding uh, uh, vice chair for the uh, technical com uh, committee on green communication and networking. The recent uh, Internet Governance Forum, where uh, there is a special feature topic on mobile internet and the, the environment in the 5G era. And there were four keynote speakers, uh, I would say. <laughs> Uh, not only uh, be, I was the only female again, but uh, I was uh, the opening uh, keynote speaker among the four keynote speakers. So I, I think uh, uh, as uh, uh, the other distinguished panelists had indicated, I think uh, uh, in general, uh, in terms of uh, diversity and inclusion uh, consideration in our community is continuously improving. But it's not to say there is uh, 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 still room to for more improvement, of course.